Hey everybody, we're making big plays in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm happy to be here. Don't pick the loss by accident. Although maybe next time the streak ends, I, I probably owe people some lost runs. Oh my god. Sorry, I had to stealthily conceal a bit of a belch there. 4HY2BAHJ. Uh, get the wrist guard set up because I'm an 80 year old man. We got How to Jump, we got the Chariot, we got Infestation 2. Uh, Infestation 2 makes me feel less bad about being in a room full of spiders. How to Jump, I don't fully understand. I thought maybe I could jump out of the door without getting hit. It did not work. Um, this is a great start. It also seems like Rate of Fire is good. Um, damage? I have no idea, honestly. But our DPS seems better than usual. And we've got Infestation 2, which just, it scales so incredibly well that, like, I'm struggling to come up with negative shit to say, except for the fact that I'm, like, almost dead already. Use the Chariot card! Use the Chariot card! No, I'm not gonna use the Chariot card yet, okay? Chariot card gets saved for, uh, a trickier room, a boss fight, a big room, something like that. I'm just playing like an idiot right now. But this seed is good enough that, um, even at my relatively low amount of HP, I'm like, we're fine for now, at least. This room is kind of annoying. I think this room might warrant... Uh, use of this here. Also the added bonus of giving us quite a lot of spiders, which I appreciate a great deal. Alright. Oh god, that guy got so close to me. I almost uh, found myself in a whole world of pain. Luckily. Still kicking it here. There's our item room. Can't get any... Oh, well, we can get all of that stuff actually now that I think about it. Ball of tar. Red hearts please. Red hearts please. That's alright. Get the money because we can't get into our shop. As C-A-N can get into our shop. Um, let's go over here just in case this is a troll bomb. I'd like it to get the... Thank you. I'd like it to get the... Uh, golden chest. Or not golden chest, sorry. The tinted rock. Alright, I'm back! <laughs> and some of the things I say are even correct now. Uh, juicy sack, it's fine. You know, the slowing effect is nice for enemies that rush us down. Want to make sure we're going to the shop first, just because we have enough money to potentially keep ourselves alive there, which is good. I'm not going to play this up for false drama. Like, we should be in a totally fine situation. I just uh, kind of squandered it a little bit early by taking dumb damage I didn't need to. But do keep in mind, one of the spirit hearts that we've lost is uh, a direct result. No bombs for sale, huh? Eh, I'm going to buy this instead of the spirit heart. One of the spirit hearts, or sorry, one of the hearts we lost is a direct result of... Um, Going into the curse room, which I was going to do either way. So it's really like we've only been hit twice that we shouldn't have been hit. But probably still would be better if we just hadn't been hit at all. Since we're fighting Fistula, I don't really want to pop the strength card. I think that we should be totally fine here. And I can use the strength card to maybe scum up a deal with the devil that I wouldn't otherwise be able to get. Now, it, that could lead to me dying, I think. But if it pays out with the spirit heart, like if, I, if by using the strength card I'm able to get like ceremonial robes or something that I was otherwise unable to pay for, then then that's fine. Also, we've already finished the fight here, so I think I was in the right, probably. Um, you know, with no bombs, I think I just used the strength card by accident trying to hit tab. Tell you what, I'm gonna try something here. So that strength card was a, a huge boon for us there, obviously. We did get hit once, but we got a bomb out of it. I consider that pretty much worth it. Let's blow up this, and hopefully we'll get a Spirit Heart, Small Rock, something like that. Ah, oh, you dick! You straight up asshole! I think we gotta use our brain here, go PhD instead, because we have the money. Gave us paralysis, but still. I was like, we gotta get a key so we can open that up. But I think that we made the right call. And we still have full HP, which is awesome. So we'll just head down to the next floor, and I'm feeling really good about the way that this run looks right now. We got an Orbital, we got Infestation 2, we got decent damage, we got an okay tier effect in the form of the slow. We have a sincere issue in, um, in that we don't have a spirit heart right now. So it would be very nice for us to just not take damage. Like, maybe we can fight Pin. Oh, Jesus. Maybe we could fight Pin on this floor. That would be fantastic. Apart from that, uh, honestly, we're completely sitting pretty right now. There's nothing at all negative that I can say about this run. Eden gave us a lot of HP to start with. Eden gave us a good rate of fire to start with. And uh, some great items that, that scale really well into the late game. Key, please. Single penny, that is not a key. All the single pennies don't add up to very much. Well, actually, if you, I guess if you, if you kind of lumped them all together, maybe you could make a case for a cumulative purchasing power argument. Um, but either way. I like that one spider is basically enough. Well, one spider and one hit is enough to kill these guys. All right, good item room, good item room. 
Good enough, item room. Blood of the Martyr is definitely, uh, it's a nice thing to have. I don't know offhand how much damage it is, but whenever I get it, I'm not like, yo, fuck this. I'm actually like, that's pretty sweet. I'm happy about it. Uh, unfortunately, no bombs, so I'm fucked. <laughs> we did find the secret room there, and now we have a bomb. We could still make it. Oh, this is actually really good. Lemon party's fine. Bombs are key. I'm just gonna use it to get it out of the way. Um... Yeah, it's, it's a really good thing that we uh, got a bomb back here so we can go to the Spirit Heart, or hopefully open the Spirit Heart is what I was going to get at, but it didn't end up being a Spirit Heart, so disregard. Um, but I do also wish that maybe it had come a little earlier, but now that we didn't get uh, HP out of it anyway, like a Spirit Heart out of it anyway, that's fine. Let's not forget that Eternal Heart back there, that's pretty important. It's like a Strength card, but permanent. Okay, we can't do anything with that. I might want to play the... Uh, the uh, spike room, like the self-sacrifice room. That should be over already. We did get a deal with the devil. Somebody up there likes us. And we want it all. Yeah, we, we want it all. I'll keep how to jump. Because it's kind of interesting. Why take the shovel? Ah, uh, maybe we'll take the shovel. It can actually lead to some cool situations. I don't think there was a wrong order to take these in, really. Maybe a uh, wrong order would be nine lives first, but... Um, this, yeah, this is a, it's a better setup this way. It's a more interesting setup to see if we can actually get, uh, I have the shovel, right. To see if we can actually get, uh, crawl spaces and black markets and whatnot. I like it. Alright, let's look for our, uh, second secret room and then head down to the next floor. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a moment to take good care of my voice. Alright. Uh, probably not the smartest damage I've ever taken. If we're being, if we're talking in understatements today. Well, we'll just leave then. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Picking up three items there is really good. Ceremonial robes, HP, even though I lost one, is going to help us a ton. Mostly, though, I love that extra spider damage that we're going to get. Shovel is an interesting spacebar item. And, uh, of course, nine lives, a great item in and of... Oh. In and of itself, but also um, the guppy potential. If we can get a hive mind along with this, you know, hive mind, guppy... Great spiders, great flies, we've already won the game, basically. I, I feel weird even talking as if the game is not already won yet. It's technically not, but we're in such a an above-average position this early on that I'm like, well, we probably will be soon. That's probably our secret room down there. This floor is relatively small, usually at least, so, you know, you can feel that we're probably close. Uh, should not take damage here. It would be very nice if we could actually get to our... Uh, deal with the devil on this floor. We got such a low chance, but that means that if we get it, we don't really care if it's Krampus. You know, it's free. We shouldn't have gotten it, so to get it is worth a lot. No keys as well again, so a little disappointed, but I've got to admit, we're getting uh, pretty much hard carried again, so I like it. I will consider the shovel a success if it gets us, you know, one crawl space, one deal with the devil. That's kind of like a low bar to set, but at the same time, I so rarely have the opportunity to get it and feel good about it that it... I, I, I don't regret this, I should say. Alright, just a regular old finish there. And unfortunately, we don't have the ability to uh, bomb into our secret room on that side. So this room is going to be Infestation 2, hopefully carrying me. So I can get out of it without getting hit and not have to worry about dodging too much. Come on, drop a key. I know you want to drop a key. There can't be any reasonable expectation for why you would not want to drop a key and help me out in this my time of need. You want me to see all the item rooms. Almost got him. <laughs> Took us a lot longer than I would have expected there, but that's all right. Okay. Great damage. A nice uh, offensive run into him there. That really helped out a great deal. I'm joking, of course. We do have the opportunity to get a Tinted Rock here. And it's another Golden Chest, man. That's like non-stop Golden Chest that we've been getting paid out with. But it hasn't really hindered us all that much. we still got luck on our side. I think we're pretty lucky to have gotten out of that without taking damage, and we did get a deal with the devil. And it's not Krampus. Holy crap! We can only take one! <laughs> I want Dark Judas. I have to take Dar Dark Judas. Um, and then, like, we'll kill ourselves to re- Oh, we have to kill ourselves nine times to respawn as the Judas we know and love. I don't feel very smart right now. Is there a better way to do that? I don't know if there was. Do I really want to kill myself nine times to become Dark Judas? If we're going to, we should, like, immediately, honestly, so we can get more Spirit Hearts in the future. We could do so pretty easily here. It's going to slow us down, obviously, but it might be, you know, worth the... It might be worth the shot regardless, not because it's necessarily strategically great, but because it's kind of funny. 
It's another not crawl space. I'm hoping against hope at this point we find the ability to get into the curse room. Okay, we should, or not curse room, the ability to get into the shop. I'm thinking, like, how do we do this now? If we kill ourselves on this room, like, over and over, we'll respawn inside of the curse room, which will give us the ability to get those chests. We might as well get the keys out of this, too, which will allow me to actually um, get into the the devil room. Not devil room, sorry, you know what I mean. It'll allow me to get into the shop, or the item room, for that matter. So this is a fairly quick way to do this. In addition, of course, this will allow us to get two black hearts on our way out, which is going to be important. And our damage is going to be insane now. We're also picking up the occasional spider, apparently, as a result of our efforts here. But that's not going to be worth all that much. No, I think those spiders are left over. Alright, just don't go one step too far here. We want to make sure we're coming back as Dark Judas. This, this should not be Dark Judas. This should still be nine lives. This should still be nine lives. No, it's not. This... This is our last life. Like our second last life. So we kill ourselves here. Come back as Dark Judas. Fantastic. I should have just looked at our spirit arts, obviously. Oh well. Okay, what's done is done. I could have made my way over to that bomb as well, I guess. That didn't slow us down all that much considering the amount of damage that it's gonna... <laughs> amount of damage it's gonna give us in the future. I'm going to item room. Shop could have it, sure, but... I'll take it. Technology 2 obviously carries uh, substantial problems. It lowers your damage by 35%. But um, I like the fact that it's going to be persistent damage, consistent damage, and uh, hard to resistant damage. Might be a regrettable decision depending on who you ask, but I'm kind of a big fan. The fact that I got that is nice. Maybe they'll be nice enough to let me pick up Abaddon. Nope. Down to the next floor. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright. Curse of the Lost. Not a huge deal. I think it's time to finally see how our damage actually looks. Pretty bad <laughs> over an occasional spider. Um, I really do regret the uh, the technology to pick up. I have to admit, but uh, you know it is true that we still have tears and our spiders are still going to be doing a ton of damage. I feel like a little bit of an idiot for picking it up, but we're still going strong here. Should still be an easy win. I do win most of the time with technology too. Just a little bit more of a crapshoot because of the damage downgrade, obviously. Lucky us. Um, and yeah, mostly I'm just committed to zaniness on this run. If we could get like Spoonbender or something, I would be thrilled. And I guess there's something to be said for the ability to hit multiple enemies at the same time. Like it's not as cool as being able to just destroy enemies in a heartbeat if I so choose, but still. Uh, yeah, we will take the pact for sure. Tears up. A little bit of extra HP. And uh, okay. I wish I could just leave here without having to leave the curse room, but that's okay. We are fine. No arcade for us today, thank you. And I'm a little disappointed, I have to admit, a little disappointed that we don't have any extra guppy items, but... You know, that's life. That's yet another crawl space that is that could have been, but is not. Don't even talk to me about that spike damage. I'm not tilting! If I was a cheese, I would not be stilton. I would be cheddar, like... You know... 80% of the world, maybe not 80%. 80% of North America. It's all, it's, over here it's all cheddar and mozzarella. Occasionally you get like someone who's like, I really like Monterey Jack. I really like Kraft Singles. It's a shame, man. There's a whole world of cheese that has not been illuminated to many people. Try your Munsters. Your Stiltons. Your Chevras. Your Gruyeres. Your Emmentals. I am going to try this. Oh, we got it. And we got more pills, which is awesome. Full health, not useful. Bombs are key, not useful. Telepills, possibly useful, actually. So we'll hold on to that for now. And this will be a really good test. We'll see how we do against Mega Fatty. Um, he's already, like, half dead, so I know that we're doing pretty well. That's my own stupid fault there. But let's hope that we get DPS or HP here. Fine by me. I gotta admit, I think we're going maybe a little bit too fast. We're about a minute ahead of schedule. We're getting to boss rush, that is. Curse of Darkness. That's alright, because we light up our lives. I can't really do that um, consistently, which is probably a good thing. Okay, let's play the Blood Bank once. Get this pill. It's a health upgrade. Lucky me. We lose telepills as a result, but that's a, a trade that we would probably consider fair right now. That is not a red chest. Red chests are king right now, because if we could become Guppy on this run. We have some really great uh, times ahead of us. 
We probably already, we've been having a great time thus far. But you know, it's like you're at a party. But people were like, you know when Derek gets here, that's when the party really starts. We are not Derek yet. Guppy is Derek. Fucking Derek. What a dick. Everybody likes him and he does well in school. Okay. Oh, we got one. Probably didn't need to make two then, but that's okay. We got a crawl space with Samson's chain. Sir. The old ball and chain. It's, it's okay. I mean, it saves us from uh, not being able to use bombs, which we have like none of, so that's nice. Uh, if we find some tinted rocks, we might be able to make good use of that. I really did not expect that uh, they would be able to shoot twice in the amount of time that it took me to get to them, so that's on me. Completely. This is where we'll start cracking into these bad boys here if we can. Hoping to get uh, a better tarot card than the one we currently hold, which is nothing. I know we skipped one there. I gotta admit, I lost patience a little bit. Dry baby. It continues to be like pretty decent items. I uh, can't really complain about these ones. There is a tinted rock back here. Oh, we almost had it. We had speed. There we go. One spirit heart. Um, it should be so easy to get this. There we go. Um, just find our boss, I guess. We haven't seen shop yet. We don't really need to see shop if we don't want to. Although hive mind would still be amazing for us, in spite of the fact that we don't have uh, we don't have guppy yet. Hope to see a deal with the devil on this floor. But we've seen so many that it's like it's probably pretty unlikely that we get a deal. But how nice would it be if we did get one? Oh, that's a rune. It's an Algiz rune. Those are amazing. I'm kind of hoping for, you know, a Joker card, I guess. Greed fight is totally fine. Actually, I'm loving our damage now. Things are changing quickly. I mean, we're only like 15, yeah, 15 minutes into the run. But we're already, like, getting ready to pretty much fight Mom. I mean, I know we're one floor away from it, but that's that's where my mind is at right now. So I'm feeling like we're we're set up super nicely for the future here. I don't really care about cracking one skull. All we need to do is maybe get a teleport card, and that's our boss rush handled. Algiz could also do a really good job of that if we wanted it to. All right, this Curse of Darkness freaked me the F out for a second there. I thought that this was big enough that there were two wars on this room. Not that that apparently would have been a problem. We do get another deal with the devil. And this is incredible. Um, I mean, how could I not, right? I think I kind of have to take Brimstone on this one. Sacrificial Dagger can be great as well. Did I just take a Headless Baby instead of Sacrificial Dagger? Or instead of um, Sacrificial Dagger? Yeah, I think I did. Well, that's not very intelligent. But we have Brimstone, so I don't need to be smart anymore because I have incredible damage. Also, I didn't even point it out, but we have a third level Meat Boy. We've managed to, to make the third level Meat Boy dream come true in a situation that we probably would not have expected. You know, no book of uh, revelations or anything like that. Just good luck, I suppose. Now, we do have to be a little careful, because this is a run that could go wrong very, very quickly. We don't have very much HP. We don't have a little HP, but we don't have very much. I'm just going to use a bomb to speed this up. All right, so that's just a free trip down to the womb. Uh, there is, there's a play here. There's an inter well, not interesting, but there's a play. We could use Algiz Rune to play Blood Bank. Thus, on the blood bank, we'd have a pretty good chance to get a blood bag and snag some HP. Which I'd probably want to trade, like, immediately to the deal with the devil, but... Well, I guess we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, I'm hoping to maybe get into boss rush. And we do do enough damage that I would, I would feel like boss rush would be a, a pretty good fit for us. Gotta check the curse room still. That one ended up working out, and I appreciate it more than the game will ever know. Ideally, we'd just get a teleportation card, because I could really just, like, use the boss rush item. That would totally be fine by me as well. I don't need to like fight boss rush and get two items. One item is a-okay by me. Oh, that creep lasted way longer than I expected. Five room. We could do this floor over again. If I could do boss rush and then get out, I would do this floor over again for sure. Why not, right? And if I can't do boss rush, we should do the floor over again. So I would, you know, if you're a betting man, maybe place some bets on doing the floor over again. But I am gonna give boss rush precedent if we get in there, because you, know, you know what, now that I think about it, I can just get out of there with the shovel if I want. So it's like, you know, what do I put more value on? The shovel or... Um, the, the shovel's absurdity or the five room on the Debs 2's absurdity? 
Emperor, unfortunately, does not allow us to get out for good. Awaz rune. Interesting. Just use it. I know we're slowing down here, but I feel like it's got to be done. Should have saved our solid shovel charge, or should we have, because we just got this. Um, remote detonator. I know it gives me five bombs, but I got to rush a little bit right now if boss rush is going to be something that happens. Ghost baby. So we have Algiz rune. Emperor card doesn't help. Let's keep moving. We're at 18 minutes. Should still be fine. Abel's no help at all. Abel's no help at all. Bow. I got a little, like, Price is Right vibe there. The worst form of synesthesia. Just Price is Right related synesthesia all day, every day. But we know our boss room's got to be close. So, uh, let's buy this. Let's buy this. Let's buy, uh, we don't need the battery now. So we know we can get out of boss rush if we want to. Uh, now we have to choose do the floor over again. Or just do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. Because it gives us the chance at boss rush, which I actually value quite highly because we can pick our own item instead of being subjected to whatever the game wants to give us. Lump of coal does not help brimstone, I think, but I had to go in just to see if we got a guppy item or something. And we get the Polaroid and we get, uh, is Fat Odd Mushroom worth it? It's not a huge damage upgrade. I mean, we're getting it for free. I don't really want Epic Fetus. I don't really want Libra. So yeah, we'll take Fat Odd Mushroom and then we'll get the heck out of here. See you in hell, powers! It's just not necessary for us to keep going there, I think. L um, yes, I scummed my way out of that floor. No question about it, but hey, man. Get off of my cloud. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Just, I'm not going to feel bad about scumming the game. Have you seen the game scum me? It happens all the time. You got to get yours, but shit, I got to get mine. Everything is fine. When you're bouncing with the D.O.G., I got the cultivating music that be captivating he who listen. As I work to the stream, I get to macking on this chick named Shady. She used to be my homeboy's lady. 80 degrees when I tell that chick, please get up off these NUTs because you gets none of these at ease. When you're out with the dog pound, feel the breeze. Why, what am I doing there? Um, why would I take whip, Whipworm? This seems uh, silly. Oh, this could be good. This could be good. Ye worth it at least. And then Ah, uh, you know, somewhat worth it. That was uh Snoop Dogg, Gin and Juice. Coming to you live on youtube.com slash Northern Lion, home of the hottest rap hits of the late eighties and early nineties. Coming up next, we got uh, Express Yourself by NWA. What an ironic song that doesn't seem to make sense in the context of the rest of their collection. Coming up right after this ad that has a police siren and honking cars in it. Oh, we gotta check. One of these days, I'm just gonna do a whole episode as if it actually is a radio show. Over here at Carruthers Auto, we take it, we take collisions very seriously. Eep! Oh no! No, your car did not just get crashed into. Wee -hoo, wee -hoo. That's the advertising police coming to take us away. Carruthers Auto now with employee dealer pricing. Visit CarruthersAuto.com. Oh, Skype has stopped working. That's like completely irrelevant to uh, the fact that I'm playing this game now, but thanks for popping up a big window, I guess, and making me close the game, or close the, the Skype window. All right. Super bandage. Hey, super bandage. The spiders, okay, everyone take your turn. We don't want to cause like a mudslide here. If you know what I mean, ladies. Um, do we know what is back here? It's our Algiz rune, right? It's more valuable. Uh, okay. Matchstick could be useful, but I'm probably not going to use it that much. Let's go see if we have earned a. Uh, oh come on! Let's go see if we've earned a deal with the devil. I would desire it. We've gotten a deal. With, gotten a deal with the devil on every other floor, somehow. So let's not break the trend now, shall we? Toothpicks is totally fine. All right. So if our win wasn't cemented before, it's totally cemented now. Looks like we're going to go up to three. Um, I got to admit, they've been like three of the easiest wins we've ever had as Eden. So, um, I mean, not quite Brimstone Tammy's head level, but not too, too far away. Judas's uh, shadow followed by Brimstone is like, you know, if you lose that run, you better be speed running because there's no other excuse for it. So that would take us down to Shoal. We probably should not uh, navigate into that if I had to guess. Instead... 
speed up, sure. Instead, we'll uh, walk around it. Very risky. And uh, I hope that maybe this is the secret room. Because it could have allowed us to get into the mob trap or boss trap room. I'm realizing now that there's like basically zero chance of us becoming guppy on this run. Makes me a little sad, but nine lives. You know what? Fuck that. Nine lives did not serve its purpose. Nine lives was very annoying for us as someone who got Judas a shadow right after. But uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. Most of the time, it's uh, it's an incredible success, and I I love having it around. It's just one of those rare one-offs. I also just realized we're not going to get fourth level Meat Boy, which is a little disappointing. But you know, that's just uh, that's the nature of the beast. If fourth level Meat Boy was easy to get, people wouldn't complain about it all the time. And I think it's one of those things in Isaac where sometimes when people complain, I'm like, I don't get it. What are you complaining about? The game's great. This is one of those ones where I'm like, oh, man. Getting Meat Boy is actually like a real slog. I feel you on that one. Not that, you know, I also hate whenever people complain about something and they go, oh, well, you know, what are you complaining about? You got food on the table. Like, complaining is a basic human right, as far as I'm concerned. It might annoy people. But uh, it's also annoying to complain about something that you feel strongly about and people will be like, your complaint is meaningless to me. So I don't think we can use the shovel on... Um... Oh, that was bad. I don't think we can use the shovel on the cathedral. So basically, what did we get out of the shovel? We got remote detonator, which we didn't even pick up, and then Samson's chain. Was it worth giving up how to jump? Well, it depends. What would we have expected, or what would we have expected how to jump to give us? Probably, like, a couple consumables at best, so... I don't know. I guess it's a win. Probably. Tough to say. I'll use a bomb. Oh my god. I'll use a bomb here. I don't care. We got enough keys. We can feel pretty safe in this. And getting two spirit arts out of that is extraordinary. Red chest? Nope. Red chest means we open it because it could be a deal with the devil or it could be a guppy item. No red chest means we don't open it because, uh, fuck that. We'll try to use our shovel. We did have a... We found an error room on the chest. I think that was last run. So, like, we're in a new era of, of chest finds here. I like that, but... Uh, I think we'd have to get very lucky to see if this works. Yeah, mostly it's just going to waste my charge. Maybe we'll get a better, uh, like, offensive or defensive space bar item on the chest. Lover's card, not particularly worthwhile. I say chest earlier when I said we're in a new era of blah blah blah. I meant we're in a new era on the cathedral, not on the chest. We might be in a new era on the chest. I'm ready, man. I'm creeping into a new era. Wait. Creeping. I gotta sing the whole version of regulate in order to figure out what that what that verse goes like. I'm gonna hit the side of the LBC and we gotta find to warn you. See a car fall down and eat it quick. Cause you know what's up with 213. Um I am creeping into a whole new era. That's it. G-Funk step to this. I dare ya. Thunk. On a whole new level. The rhythm is the bass and the bass is the treble. Copy? Uh, I still held on to the idea that the dream could be real. I still <laughs> love that verse of Regulate, man. If you're not familiar with Regulate, Warren G featuring Nate Dogg. Of course. Classic. It actually is a hip-hop classic. It's not, you know... One that I'm bullshitting you on. However, um, it it starts, there's a lot of things. They they have a threesome or like an eightsome or something like that. Warren G almost gets killed, but then Nate Dog kills like, uh, you know, 15 people at the scene of the crime to save Warren G. But then they're like, you know what? The song has not done enough yet. There hasn't been enough action in this song. What if we just invent a new genre of music and talk about it at the end? Chords, strings, we brings, melodies. G-Funk, where rhythm is life, and life is rhythm. And then they talk about their prodigious cannabis use. If you smoke like I smoke, you get high like every day. If your ass is a buster, two and three will regulate. It's like, Jesus, you guys, don't forget to take some time off for you, you know? Like, you're only, you're, all you seem to do is murder, fuck, invent new genres of music, and smoke weed, like, Take some time to relax, you know, go out to a cottage or a lake house or something like that. Read a little. Look out the window, you know. You gotta have some quiet time in your life. It seems unsustainable, if I'm being honest. Anyway, Rosary and Celtic Cross are enough to give us the win here. Um, and we have... Oh, I was like, sweet, we got Spoonbender somehow, and I didn't notice. This is not Spoonbender. This is, uh... 
Mom's eyeshadow, I think, for charm tears. Deceptively colored, in a way. Don't really need that key. If I need that key, I'll come back for it. Oh, right, they get, like, uh, the pheromones bonus. Well, you pr they probably wouldn't call it a bonus. But that uh, might actually help out when it comes to dealing some extra damage to these gentle folk here. There we go. Beautiful. That's going to hurt. No way of getting around that at that point. Just terrible positioning. All right. One more key I could not be less interested in. Third level Meat Boys got it. Uh, we might as well drop some uh, shovel charges whenever we get the chance. Probably should have been hit there. I deserve to get hit there. Thank you. And I did not see an item there, so I'm disappointed, but, you know, such is life. <laughs> and life is rhythm. Exactly. Now you're getting it. That boy needs therapy. Let's, uh... Continue onwards here. 27 minutes. A pretty uh, efficient run here. I cannot tell a lie. You know what probably happened with Skype? I bet it tried to play an audio ad on me. It played an audio ad during the NLSS. It was like, go to aircanada.com today to see the, like, the sweet deals that we've got going. And I was like, oh, all right, go to uh, teamspeak.com to never have to use this again. Because you heard, like, I mean, it's a free service, but also I paid for Sky Premium at a, point, at a point in my life, so it seems kind of shitty that you're also playing advertisements for me. I don't know. I don't necessarily want to get into that, as, you know, I do run a channel that's based on, you know, the monetization, at least, is based on advertising. But it's also not like, hey, hey, you know, like, uh, use my service. I want you to use my service. There's no ads. It's free. There's no ads. When you're having a call with somebody, there will never be an advertisement that plays, like, right in the middle of your call. And then, all of a sudden, an advertisement plays. Maybe I'm making an uncomfortably close analogy here, actually. I don't know. Anyway, we got Death's Touch. It doesn't matter. But fuck Skype lately. Apparently something is changing it because of Windows 10. I'm just waiting for ad-supported ad Minecraft, man. That's the day when we know it's the dream is dead. Might as well pop the Algae's Rune and, you know, why not just get, like, right in here. Ideally, if I could get, like, Samson's Chain to just be on top of... Blue Baby, which is basically exactly how this shit just went down for a second there. That would be good. I think we got it. Yeah, that's right. Alright, like 80% of the way done. With Algas, you can't stop me. Cross the plane, touchdown, Greg Jamings. Easy win. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.